Dr. Jason Saunders here with HBOT USA and another research review. And today we're going to talk about hyperbaric oxygen as it relates to plastic surgery recovery. And so really the way that hyperbaric oxygen works in terms of plastic surgery recovery is going to be very similar to any surgical recovery, which is also very similar to wound care. And ultimately, wound care is one of the things that has been most heavily researched in hyperbaric medicine. We know that wounds heal better in a hyperbaric environment. Why? There's a multitude of reasons. One, uh, hyperbaric oxygen helps to kill pathogens. So one of the consequences of, of wounds and or of uh, post-surgical is infection. And so hyperbaric oxygen uh, dramatically reduces the risk of a pathogen running its course. It really helps to improve the immune system, improves our own immune system's ability to keep the healthy bacteria functioning properly and helps keep the pathogens at bay. Next, it stimulates collagen synthesis. So we get all of these growth factors, um, brain-derived growth factors, collagen growth factors, platelet-derived growth factors. So this high pressure, high oxygen environment really stimulates a lot of our growth factors which are required for healing and synthesis of tissue. Uh, it also helps to rebuild the capillary beds. So whether that's a trauma, that's you know an accident that happens in our life, or trauma like surgical trauma, we're breaking down those microvascular beds. And if we can rebuild the microcirculation and the microvascular beds, we can get better blood flow immediately and more oxygen immediately to that healing tissue, which of course means we're gonna have improved healing in that site. So uh, wound care and post-surgical care are gonna be very similar and overlap quite a bit. And like I said, there's a tremendous amount of research to support this. I'll add a few of my favorite articles in the bottom of this video. In particular though, I wanted to talk about something that came out in 2019. This is a, uh, well, so the article actually talks about what's called preconditioning. In other words, uh, there are many surgeries that people might go through that were a surprise. There was an accident, God forbid, some sort of trauma, and now there's surgery as a result. So we weren't planning on that. But in most plastic surgery cases, there's actually um, a scheduled event. And if we know that there's a scheduled event, are there things that we could be doing beforehand to prep the body to have a better outcome? And so this particular study in 2019 was looking at that. It was looking at, uh, is there a benefit to preconditioning the body to this healing stimulus before going into surgery? And in fact, uh, the study shows that there is. And so this is a practice that we've had in our office for quite a while. Uh, Any time where we have this conversation, either with our existing patients or we're getting patients referred to us, rather than waiting for uh, you know, some type of consequence from the surgery, like an ischemic event or necrotic tissue, what you're, gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this pressurized environment and you're going to start building larger and more efficient capillary beds. You're gonna start stimulating all of these growth factors. You're gonna start stimulating stem cell release. You're gonna start increasing oxygen uh, to the tissue. And so all of a sudden you're basically prepping the body and you're building uh, a healing response even before the actual surgery takes place. And so uh, this study that came out shows that this preconditioning absolutely has a beneficial effect. And so a, a very standard protocol might be, you know, five or 10 hours before a surgery, and then another maybe 10 to 15 or 20 hours after the surgery, just depending on what the extent of the surgery was. Um, but this preconditioning and then having the, the surgery occur and then this post recovery, that seems to really increase the rate and the efficiency of the healing process, which of course we're all looking for, especially post-surgically. All right, thanks a lot for your attention. We'll see you next time.